Barn Legend, this is Angus of Barbells and Burgers and super excited to be sharing with you in this video today another alpha male mastery success story and that is at the powerhouse, man with the plan, um, dad based here in Perth, um, Damien Oates. Now this is a lad who has basically been hustling with me for the last six months and normally when I work with guys I like to hustle with them for a year or so plus but in Damo's case he didn't really have a tremendous amount of fat to lose and the biggest goals weren't actually uh, aesthetics related, they were actually complete lifestyle overhaul, um, you know, sort of related and um, really just working on his personal development, spirituality and just self-love. So um, yeah, this video here is dedicated to just basically unpacking the journey that is Damo. So it is decently lengthy, that's because we don't hold anything back. In these sort of coming moments, you're going to have me and Damo unpacking his whole sort of point A scenario with where he was at prior to starting coaching with me. We're going to be uncovering sort of where he is now and what he's been able to achieve over the span of about six months, um, which has been losing just over 13 kg, he's getting strong as fuck, dropping a lot of body fat, but having an insane change in terms of his relationship with food, his um, goals to be a greater role model for his kids and be an awesome um, you know, partner for his missus, and um, yeah, basically just the learnings and the gains that he's achieved all in between. Um, because Damo is someone who um, yeah, is just a real guy. You're going to be able to relate to his journey so well and hopefully from watching this video, it's going to inspire the shit out of you and educate you so that you can actually approach your goals with fresh eyes and new perspective as to why you've not been able to achieve the results that you wanted to in terms of you kind of going at your journey so far. So strap yourself in and get ready to basically just have me break down the journey with Damo and um, yeah, let's sort of unpackage it all together. So the main man, Damien, thank you once again for joining on this um, yeah, this chat today, brother. Obviously the intention here is to highlight how much of an awesome transformational inside and out journey you've had through the Alpha Male Mastery Coaching process. Super stoked to have you on today, brother. Um, once again, thanks for jumping on. How are you, man? I'm good, Angus. How are you, brother? I'm good, I'm good. That's good. <laughs> so, um, how, was, yeah. how, how are you going? <laughs> So we've had an amazing six months together, bro. Um, time flies when you're having fun. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to unpackage some of your journey, bro. So that way our viewers that are tuning into this and watching it um, you know, can gain some epic value, but also some inspiration with you being you know, a dad, you run your own business, you're a fucking uh, com, com kombucha. I forget how you say that. You're a ninja and making work. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you've always got all this stuff on and like for a lot of dads. Thank that, you God. Yeah. For a lot of dads, obviously, there's the dad bod movement and stuff like that. But, you know, obviously, in our sort of sense, fuck the dad bod movement. Like, yes, you've got kids and stuff like that. But there's nothing wrong with learning to make yourself a priority and be an awesome role model for your kids and those around you. And that's what you've succeeded in well, bro. So let's unpackage some of your story, mate. Why don't you share uh, some insight into who Damo was, um, you know, six and a bit months ago like unpackage and share some of the inside of what you used to go through what you were struggling with like just where were you at before you and I even crossed paths mate yeah sure man so um look I've been on a, a bit of a um uh, you know uh, what do they call it personal development journey for the past you know seven or eight years um you know I've uh, part of that was you know a, a bit of a lifestyle choice um, you know, making some changes to my diet and, and um, you know, I got, you know, pretty lean as a result. Um, you know, I was, uh, this, this is for about five, five or six years ago, I was probably at my leanest. Um, and I did that through uh, what they call the body trim system. So it's heaps of protein, um, you know, no carbs, no sugar, you know, restriction, restriction, restriction. Um, but, you know, managed to stay with that for about 18 months um, and with a shitload of body weight stuff and a few kettlebell swings, um, managed to get, you know, quite lean and quite toned and I was, I was happy with where I, I was at. But, um, you know, uh, that sort of eating, uh, it's not sustainable. Um, and, you know, I hit a few speed bumps and just completely fell off the wagon and, um, you know, ended up just not giving a shit anymore. I had copped a couple of injuries. So the, um, uh, you know, the, the exercise thing, um, it just kept taking a, a back seat. Um, you know, 
I tried to get back into it. I motivated myself with, with getting ready to do Tough Mudder, which I did, and then blew my knee out. Um, and that was that was it. That was all she wrote. So, you know, I sat on my ass for a few years and, um, you know, just watched the weight just stack on. And, you know, I sort of promised myself that I wouldn't get past 90. And then I said, oh, I won't get past 95. Oh, you won't get past 100. And then I was sitting on 105 and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, this is where you were at the start. This is where I started my journey and now I'm right back here. Um, and, you know, something had to change. Um, part of the personal development that I was doing was a lot of life coaching. So a lot of mental stuff and, um, you know, emotional and, and uh, you know, uh, you know, focusing on, on growing my business and, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and I started noticing that the way that I see myself really does affect, you know, how my business is going to perform. You know, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So, um, yeah, I just clearly something was put out there um, and I came across Angus's stuff uh, on Facebook. And um, he had a, oh, I think it was a 21 day challenge or something like that. So, you know, initially I thought I'll just do that and I'll dip my toe in the water and, and see what happens. But um, having spoken to Angus, um, you know, it quickly became evident that he's the real deal. Um, and, you know, he was uh, very much in line with a lot of the personal development that I've already done. Um, I was, you know, I'm not the world's blokiest bloke um, and from my perception the, a lot of the, the bodybuilding and um, you know the, the, the weight training uh, scene especially for men it can be quite uh, uh, yeah, quite that's intense men, that's, that's not where I wanted to be at um, but as I said, speaking, just having that first, uh, you know, conversation with Angus, you know, we, we touched on a few points that, that really sort of, you know, made me feel that this is this is the, the next step in my journey. So, um, you know, we've been working together for six months um, and I, look, I'm stoked with the results. You know, six months I've lost over 12 kilos. Um, I've got some decent, you know, muscle definition. Um, you know, I've got stamina, I've got strength, you know, I feel good with my shirt off, you know, I went to the beach the other day and didn't have to, you know, feel like, you know, maybe I shouldn't take my shirt off. Um, you know, it's, it's confidence building, you know, I've got a strut back, you know, you sort of, yeah, you feel good, you know, every day. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's come down to, you know, watching the progression and taking the opportunity to look back on, you know, different parts of the journey, documenting everything. So, you know, weekly photos, um, you know, tracking your weight every day. Um, the last system I was on, I was tracking it once a week. So, you know, even though it, look, it worked, but you could load up the, um, you could stack the figures, you know, if you were doing it once a week, you know, you can make sure that you didn't eat much the day before or, you know, this, that or the other. Mm. Um, this is working with averages. So if you have a blowout, it's going to show up on your averages, you know, that's, you know, it keeps you accountable every single fucking day. Um, and, you know, it's been for me as a, um, as a dad, uh, who's, you know, responsible for taking the kids to and from school, you know, most days of the week. Um, you know, so juggling that, uh, running a business from home, um, you know, and trying to get a, a second business off the ground um, and doing that on the sidelines as well. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on in my life. Um, the flexible dieting um, component of, uh, you know, the Alpha Male Mastery Program. Um, has been honestly <laughs> it's the best fucking eating plan on the planet because it's not an eating plan it's just a, a, a set of goals to work towards every day and one of those goals is eating a big tub of ice cream mm -hmm. um, 
you know, every, I, I tell you, every single day of this journey, I have finished with um, some ice cream or a piece of chocolate or something that, you know, makes me feel good about the end of the day. I get to sit down on the couch, chill in Netflix and have, you know, some connoisseur or, you know, a few bits of, uh, you know, quality chocolate or something. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like been, cool the missions, isn't it? Having that uh, that nice, not necessarily a reward, but something you can just look forward to, as opposed to yeah. past demo eating, which was not there's yeah. anything wrong with that way that you were eating, but as you said, it's that restriction and rigidity associated to food. Yeah, it can work. Yeah. It puts you in a calorie deficit, but the ability to adhere to it and to enjoy it and have it fit in your lifestyle is obviously hard. And this is a you know trending pattern that happens with a lot of the, the big gun diets that are out there at the moment being that well yeah they put you into a calorie deficit that's how the, the fat loss comes from but obviously yeah. the big thing we would have taken away from you know, obviously working with me is that we're not just about short-term shreds we're about setting you up to be able to continue on with the you know everything that you've sort of learned so that way you've essentially created a new lifestyle but way to see food and um yeah. You know, for a lot of us, like obviously some of us have got sweet tooth, some of us have got savory tooths. Like I me, mean, I couldn't give two shits about a cheese platter. Like, you know, fuck that. Um, you know, I'd more than happily <laughs> invest the same calories into some ice cream and chocolate like you. And it's that yeah. knowing that you can if you want yeah. to. Yeah, and that's well, it, that's it. Yeah. What, what I was able to achieve originally with the old system was I was living a systematic life. I would get up, I would go to work, I would do the thing, I would eat the thing, go home, repeat. You can only do that for so long. You know, what I've, what, why that didn't work for my current scenario is because my life is too varied. There's too much variety in my life at the moment to be able to stick to a system like that. Um, and the variety that's been, uh, you know, is now on the table um, and having the flexibility and not the rigidity to to do the things. It fits better with my lifestyle. It fits better with my work, with my business, with the the family. Um, you know, it it means that I can still have uh, you know results without you know fretting all the time. Oh fuck! I didn't have my three protein snacks during the day you know i i ate a, a piece of ice cream or a piece of chocolate oh shit you know i've stuffed my whole system up you know the whole day but yeah mm. you know it's because it's, when you uh, combine like yeah fair enough if someone just lives the same day day in day out with their fucking work when they like to eat whatever like and they don't go out and there's just sameness awesome like meal plans can work like it's black and white plus black and white equals you know to think about it right but yeah. if you've got shit on and there's just variety in your day to day every day and there's different things pulling you left, right and center with the demands and shit like that, you can't bring in rigidity to a lifestyle like that and expect it to be sustainable. Like sure, you could do a fucking short term shred and just apply yourself balls deep for a few weeks, but it's like any weight you lose, you're gonna gain back on because there's no lifestyle, yeah. um, you know what I mean? Actual education going on here. So it's like when we bring in flexible dieting and just this approach to training, which is obviously all well hey like let's try and have as much variety as possible combined with someone that's got shit on like it's like you're just in a state of control and choice like you've got the power back and provided you still give a fuck about your goals um you know what i mean you can keep making progress irrespective of traveling parties fucking whatever you got going on because it's just like cool yeah. how can i approach this you know going out for a party tonight awesome you're gonna be fucking eating heaps and probably having a few babies um you know let's not eat that much during the day or potentially fast <laughs> and then you know what I mean? You're sorted. Hey. Um, yeah. yeah, just an example. But yeah, it's just a means of looking at it from a logical point of view. Um, restriction is never like <laughs> going to be sustainable. Like people that are cover model athletes and shit like that don't look like that year round. Like sure, they can still be lean, but it's like, yeah, you got to look at it from a point of view of can I see myself doing this for months and years into the future? If you can't, yeah. don't do it. I was just going to say, you know, um, for me, you know, with, with food, Look, there's certain, there's certain things that I, you know, just love to eat, and there's, you know, and there's, and at certain times of the day, like I love dinner, but couldn't give two shits about lunch, you know, and it, it's just, you know, so just, you know, being able to to stack my macros, 
um, at lunch, you know, get in a big piece of protein, you know, make sure I've got all my fiber gains up to date and, you know, that, and doing it on the lean means that, you know, you've got more, you know, flexibility at dinner time to enjoy something that's, you know, maybe a family. Yeah, absolutely. So making the family meals work, that's it. Yeah. You know, because I think, um, at the start, I was um, still in the old mindset of, of what I've done before, and I was trying to use those techniques to make this work. Um, you know, I was eating uh, tuna and four bean mix with a bit of salsa mix in it, which is, yeah. you know, it's nice once or twice. It gets old <laughs> you try and do that every, every day month. for four weeks, I tell you, you get pretty, pretty sick of it. Yeah. Um, but having the, uh, you know, the ability to sort of like, all right, well, what can we do to, to sort of change that up? How do we sort of, you know, throw something new in the mix and, and make it work? And once I started pushing outside those boundaries and, and understanding what foods, you know, you know, I should be hitting every day, um, you know, it, it sort of took the pressure off. Mm. So, you know, instead of, you know, having this, oh, what am I going to eat and this whole thing every single morning and having this big stress out you can just get on with the day knowing that it's alright well I've got breakfast sorted I've got lunch sorted you know and, and dinner you know we'll, 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 we'll make that work so you know it's, um, it's been enlightening and it's something that I feel will be you know well and truly sustainable you know moving forward um, because I don't feel like I'm missing out ever. You that's know? it. That's it. It's that sense of um, deprivation. If we're not feeling yeah. like that sense of variety and that we're enjoying and feeling just like, you know, uh, yeah, well, that, that's, that's a big word there joy and fulfillment from what we're eating. Well, this is why society continues to stop and start, fall off the wagon on and off again, stop and start, all that yeah. sort of with, with when it comes to their dieting efforts. And, you know, if you as a viewer haven't actually caught on to what flexible dieting is, that's fair enough because it's not mainstream. The reason why it's not mainstream is because, well, this shit gives you the power, the power to be able to control how you look, how you feel, how you perform, um, you know, the ability to be able to control, uh, I guess, how much variety you want or how much black and white sameness you want that's the power that comes with this because it's a moderative approach to food and for the average joe blow who's got shit on likes to travel likes eating out every now and then like this shit is what's going to allow you to be able to just build a successful relationship with food because well you're not seeing food as good or bad anymore it's giving you the choice based on your own preference and at the end of the day more time in the game you end up pretty much eating like an average healthy eater you just you know fit in some hashtag guilty pleasures and hit targets like <laughs> at the start it's all exciting because you realize that you can fit in all this cool stuff but you quickly realize that ah it's not really an effective way to maximize your calories and you get quite hungry as i found out many years back when i first started it but you know this has been something that's been great to see uh you know evolve within demo as well and contribute to fairly linear fat loss since day dot which is pretty difficult to achieve because as he said you know, there's fluctuations in day-to-day -day weight but because what we gave a shit about when it came to weight related progress was we just compared averages from week to week alongside how he was progressing with training how his body was looking and it was evident just like i was like fuck yeah brother check this out like with this month this long end look at your changes because you know it can be kind of hard to see sometimes from week to week the changes in numerics or in your photos but when you compare from a slightly more macro point of view you know what i mean like it's just exciting to see your body change and um yeah why don't you share something exciting in terms of that shirt you're wearing, brother? Um, why is that shirt? Oh, yeah. you? <laughs> so this one. Um, so this was uh, one of the last oh, shirts oh, that I... Give us a twirl. Let okay. us see. You what? Give us a twirl. Show it off. Oh, Let's right. see. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, it. that's the one. Um, but yeah, this is a size medium. So I'm, uh, I'm 6'4". So I'm quite a big guy, and um, I did get down to medium-sized shirts uh, last time I was uh, working out and, and sort of got got lean. Yeah. Um, threw out all my large shirts. Promptly had to go and buy some more as the uh, the weight started to go on, and and this one got put on the shelf. Um, it was always a goal to get back into this shirt. It was one of my favourites, um, and I didn't get to wear it very long. Um, and I'm happy to say 
you know, would have been at least a month or two ago. Um, yeah, started being able to, to rock this shirt again. So I've gone out and uh, filled my wardrobe with more medium sized shirts as well. So it's um, it just feels good to, you know, I mean, it, for, for me, you know, I love, you know, t-shirts and, you know, and I've, and it's been one of those frustrating things, you know, being, you know, big and, and sort of portly around the middle, you know, you're constantly trying to sort of pull your shirt down and it just doesn't fit right. And, you know, and it just, it's been driving me nuts without me being completely aware of it for ages. And, um, you know, I just feel good now. I feel good in how I dress and, you know, just sort of getting out there and, and just being me. You know, um, it's, yeah, um, it's probably a bit too warm at the moment, but I've got a suit that I've, um, yeah, that I'll get back into these days as well, um, which I'm really, really stoked about. Mm -hmm. um, that was uh, tailored for me at my leanest. Um, I don't think the pants fit yet, but um, the jacket certainly fits nice and, uh, you know, just puts me in a better mindset going out to, to business meetings. Oh, so exciting, bro. And like for a lot of us, we can say that, you know, how we look and whatever isn't really important to us. But if we're honest, like, you know, we, we give a shit about how others perceive us and stuff like that, which yeah. is actually why for a lot of us from here, you know, heavier and we, you know, we've got a gut or double chin, fucking man boobs, whatever it may be. Um, you know, if we're really honest with ourselves, like in public scenarios where like we're at the beach or whatever, like a lot of us get self-conscious to take our shirts off, like, or, you know, when we're in with misses or just any of those sort of scenarios, like to be able to then be in the other position, which is where you're looking and feeling awesome, you're confident in yourself, like you feel more of, yeah, an alpha. You feel more in love with yourself and it's an awesome mental headspace to be in because you're now set up to be able to operate in your true power. You love yourself, you back yourself, like, um, you know, like I even used to be in a state where I was that overweight and that much in a shit mental headspace where I couldn't even, I wasn't even like brave enough to be in photos. I couldn't have mirrors around the house, all that sort of shit. Like I wouldn't be caught dead in a gym because, well, there's mirrors everywhere in the fucking gym. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, I'm sure you can relate to this now where it's like, it's awesome to see changes in your body. It's awesome to see like more muscles showing. Like all those little things are exciting and it adds more, you know, momentum to continuing to want to do the work and this is why i'm excited for you moving forward as well in terms of as you you know go solo and stuff like that is that you know because what we've done hasn't really been too hard obviously it's been lots of education and learning through action and yeah. stuff like that yeah. because it's been a whole aspect on re rewiring kind of how you see food and exercise and knowing how to overcome the body's adaptive processes you're going to be able to keep getting leaner because well as you yeah. said we're not you're enjoying what you're eating you're enjoying what you're doing in terms of training and um you know what I mean? It's just a means of as long as you continue to give a shit about yourself, irrespective of what comes your way, you know how to handle it. Now, let's touch on one thing as well. Um, you know, for a lot of guys, obviously, that are probably checking out this video, you probably go to the gym. And, you know, for probably about eight or nine times out of ten when I'm coaching someone, yeah, well, fine, let's go to the gym. But in Davo's sense, we did all of his workouts at home. The bulk of the time it was body weight, and then we got amongst the TRX and the kettlebells. Obviously, there's been some, you know, cool progressive overload and strength training happening there based on what he had available. So the fact is, is like why I'm sharing that is that um, irrespective of whether you go to the gym or not, like exercise can still be something where you can challenge your body to move forward and to perform better, to get stronger and fitter. So why don't you share, I guess, from your perspective, Damo, how, um, yeah, what you've just noticed in terms of what you can do now and just all that sort of stuff from how you've been progressing with exercise. Oh look, it's it's been a it's been an interesting journey. The um the I mean for me the food thing was epic. Um, the training has been probably one of the, the bigger challenges. Um, you know, just carving a space out at home, finding somewhere where I'm comfortable to, to do the work has been um, you know one of those things. My daughter kept taking over my. Uh, workout room with all of our sewing oh. um so, you know in the end i just I've, I've packed everything up and i moved outside um but you know but had a, a couple of few injuries um you know just as the body adjusts and, and gets used to to doing the work um i remember when i first started um you know the, the phase one that angus had me on it was get down on the floor get up again get down on the floor get up again get down on the floor get up again and 
I didn't realize how shit condition I was in, that I couldn't even do that. You know, I struggled to get up and down, you know, multiple times in a workout. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was interesting because I'd done so many of these exercises before for so long and I thought, yeah, I've got this, you know, I've got this nailed, I've, you know, I've, I'm, I'm all over this and it made me piss every time. Um, when I uh, decided that I wanted to progress past the body weight stuff, um, I managed to pick up a, a TRX for super cheap online, paid 60 bucks for a 350 product. <laughs> Um, get yeah, get, get your stuff secondhand, and I picked up a heavier kettlebell as well for forty bucks recently. So, um, you know, I've got a couple of tools. That's it. You know, the TRX is making me piss. This um, this this whole system, it's reignited my passion for working out, um, and yeah, it, it's it's given me so much more flexibility. Um, you know, I was struggling to get through push-ups um, the, the way that I, I just found them mechanically difficult to do. Um, we whipped out the TRX and it changed a few things in the mechanics and now I'm starting to see where I was going wrong. Um, that's actually taught me something about how the body works and how it's supposed to move. So moving forward with push-ups, you know, I've got a, a better understanding of, of how that works. Um, being able to sort of challenge myself with, with some different exercises, sort of flies and, and one-legged deadlifts. Uh, sorry, one-legged uh, lunges. <laughs> balance challenge. My right. balance was, it's always been one of my biggest hurdles, uh, Angus, I'm happy to say today, I did um, I did my lunges workout, and um, yeah, no no chair, mate. I, I, I managed to do eight both sides, Fuck you yeah. know, with some overbalancing. You know, finding ways to, you know, um, find balance within the body. You know, where where you need to sort of you know, load up so that you don't start sort of going all over the place using the, the, the TRX, using the foot in the cradle to push down so that when you go down into the lunge, you're balanced, you know, holding your core tight, but not so tight that it's going to be like a tree sort of flopping all over the place. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's been teaching me a lot about how the body works. Um, you know, uh, rows. Um, you know, making sure that you've sort of got your, your back already pulled back before you do the row um, makes so much of a difference. Um, doing lats flies this morning. I said to your lats being activated rather than just yeah. your arms, yeah, more gains. Yeah, that's it. You know, um, doing, uh, doing some flies this morning and finding that my range of motion was tapping out early and playing around with that to, to find what would work and in the end finding that you know sort of almost relaxing a little bit at the very top of the exercise to sort of let those shoulder blades sort of fall back so that then you've got to sort of really sort of wrench it forward again god that just you know that made such a difference you know all of a sudden but there's all these self enlightening moments you know being able to do these sorts of things that you know at home and and just the, the self exploration um you know but also you know and one of the things that if you if you sign up angus will make you video every single one of these workouts so that he can have a look and make sure that you're doing the right thing you know um there's been a, a, a few bits and pieces that you know it's just a, just minor tweaks that have made all the difference so um yeah it's it does just because you know you need to work out doesn't mean that you have to go to the gym you know i you know i was in the rain this morning because it's uh, uh you know the weather yesterday was the uh the last day of summer so today they decided to turn the sun off it's quite yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah. the weather uh, right, okay fuck them yeah yeah so <laughs> trx is on the pole and i was just like i started raining i was like oh well you know let's just do it anyways 
So, you know, rain gains all the way. Shows that it can still be done when you're solution focused, hey? That's it. Um, but what a, what a, I was gonna say an example of just how your uh, relationship with movement has changed. Um, and you know, for a lot of guys, even in the gym or even at home, like we have the mindset that is you must train to failure, you must train balls to the wall all the time. Whereas, yeah, that's cool and you feel like a fucking beast, but you can get injured easy doing that. You won't recover as well. You just lose a fucking yourself, essentially. And um, yeah, obviously with you, I think for most of the time, we're only working out four days a week. Reason being is because, well, why put unnecessary stress on you when it was hard enough to even fit in four? Because it's about, well, working realistically with what you know you can actually commit to and then training smart with that so that way you can set yourself up for progression. So obviously with Damo, our approach has been how can we get Damo, uh, you know, better at mobility, um, you know, uh, progressing in strength um, and gradually moving kind of more weight essentially in his own body weight week by week, just as if he was training in the gym. Obviously hitting, you know, upper body, lower body, no chook legs, fucking bullshit here. Um, getting everything strong and fully functional over time. So um, kudos to you in terms of how well you've handled that, brother, um, because that's been amazing. And what I want to touch on now is um, so obviously you've, you've, you've achieved some huge changes, obviously physically in terms of how your body looks, feels and operates, um, big changes internally in terms of your mindset. But one of the things I'm sure you will vouch for that you've appreciated through my process is the focus on education um, as you go through the process. So in other words, not just me telling you what to do and fucking, you know, see you on Sunday, bro, when you check and let me know your results but really giving a shit about teaching you the right fundamentals in terms of how fat loss works, how fucking everything works so that you don't feel like a numb nuts throughout this process. Why don't you share, yeah. I guess, how you found that aspect of this journey uh, and what value you've taken from having that? Sure, man. Yeah, no, the, um, look, the, 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 the weekly videos um, that Angus has put together have been, you know, enlightening. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, there's a, I mean, some of the stuff you probably, you know, have touched on, um, but it gives you a much uh, more in-depth um, understanding of, of how different bits and pieces work. For me, you know, I mean, for example, insulin. I didn't know how insulin worked in the body. I didn't understand that, you know, stress was a, a factor in, you know, reducing the amount of insulin, which meant that you weren't being able to process the glucose and so on and so forth. So, yeah. hey. I said, so it no, fucks up fat loss if someone's stressed as shit. Yeah, like, yeah absolutely. Mm. And and I'll tell you what, you know, <laughs> I was stressed to the to the nines over over the Christmas break. I won't go into it, but um, you know, understanding what was was you know causing some 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 hurdles in my journey, and having a having an understanding of what was actually going on. Um, so that it wasn't just a case of I'm not getting anywhere. What? Why aren't I? I'm doing the work. I'm not getting anywhere. You know. Um, you know when when Angus says you know my my progression has been almost linear. That was that hurdle, and that was you know primarily resulting from stress. But understanding why has been you know fundamental. Um, you know understanding why flexible flexible dieting works. Um, you know, that it's all just calories in, calories out. Um, understanding why protein is, is such an important factor to, to building muscle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the education process and, you know, being able to share that, you know, in a, in a group of, of like-minded people um, so that you can demonstrate your, your understanding is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really good way to do it. Um, you know, and it's not hours of study, you know, it's a it's it's a it's a short breakdown every week. Let's just you know learn something about how the body is going to work. Um, you know, and and getting some of the key things out of the way early on, um, understanding what the journey is going to you know potentially be like. You know, understanding you know things like the stuff um, and you know how progression tends to sort of work. So that you know you set up for realistic expectations. That's um, a piece of piss, fucking easy shit all the way through, but there will be times where it feels hard. There will be times yeah. where you're hungry. There will be times where you don't want to lift like these things. Yeah, but learning that in the yeah. early days, exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's it. So um, I found those videos invaluable. So, um, you know, it's, 
for me, this has been the, the full package. Um, you know, education, demonstration, um, execution, and results. Mm. And, uh, you know, that's, yeah, you know, I, I, look, I am, I'm looking forward to seeing how I can put this knowledge and education into practice on my own um, and see where, you know, see how, how I can, you know, maintain all of my learnings and all of the education, um, you know, over the next six months and um, see if I can achieve similar results. That's it, bro. Exactly. So, um, one of the things, one of the last things I want to touch on is, um, you know, from your point of view, obviously prior, you know, being in the game, as you said, on and off the wagon multiple times um, from external and internal factors, shaking your ability to be consistent. Um, I know that for a lot of people, when, when we're in the game, there's the path that is, right, I'm going to fuck this shit up solo, I'm going to smash it, I'm going to try this diet, I'm going to try this product or whatever. And like, you know, when we go out the journey solo, we're accountable only to ourselves, we can make all our own decisions and it's like there's, you know, there's risk, right? Let's be honest, like you could easily be wasting oh, time and energy yeah. on shit that's oh, entirely I'm irrelevant, nervous. right? I'm nervous. Um, Mm. I know, I know, I can pull it off, but you know, you're right. It, the, the, the accountability is uh, is going to be the the biggest factor. Oh yeah. Um, but why why I'm bringing this up is that I don't back your. I'm mean, sorry, I don't doubt your ability to still be accountable to yourself and remind yourself each day as to why you give a fuck about your health and why you love yourself. That sort of stuff. What I mean is like for you know, I'm probably guessing the viewer that's tuning in is likely doing this journey solo, right? So they'll be struggling with those things just like you used to before, right? Because essentially you don't have full certainty as to what you were doing. doing. And like, there was a lot of factors that were missing, right? So obviously when yeah. someone's going solo, there's, you know, there's there's risk, they can risk all that sort of stuff. They can be wasting time, energy, doing things that may not be right and just making things too unnecessarily hard and restrictive, right? So there's that path that someone can choose to take. But then there's obviously the you know, the path that is, all right, cool, I don't know what I'm doing, let's get help from someone who knows what they are doing and learn from their mistakes so I can achieve the results effectively and ultimately save time money, right? So yeah. in terms of from your point of view, why would you recommend that it would be a great option for the solo, you know, fucking hustler to consider coaching in terms of why Alpha Male Mastery would be a good investment for them as opposed to them just going, oh yeah, cool, this sounds good, like it was cool hearing from Damo, but I reckon I'll still fuck this shit up myself, like I'll smash it, why do you think? that coaching would be a much more valuable and effective path to choose. Look, there's, uh, everyone's got an opinion. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody thinks they know what they're doing, um, you know, and there are a myriad of options and paths and, and, and choice out there, which when you have too much choice puts you in a, a situation where you just don't know what to do. So you try a little bit of this and you try a little bit of that and you won't get the results because you're not focusing on, you know, any any sort of long-term uh, program. Um, I think the system um, that Angus has put together is, um, it's, it, it, <laughs> It's focus. It know you know you know what you're in for. You you know you, it produces results. Um, sticking with something you know rather than sort of jumping this that or the other. Um, it's definitely going to you know keep you on the on the path on on track. Um, yeah, I think when you're on your own, you just you, you're not sure if you're doing. The right thing you know there's no there's not as much evidence in um you know the 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 results that you're going to be getting whereas with um with the coaching you know you've got a, a whole group of guys um, that are all on the journey all at different you know points along the journey that you can you can sort of rely on you know you can sort of seek guidance from these people you can sort of see from you know just watching their training videos just how much they're progressing um so you know that you're in safe hands um, and you know that the system is going to work rather than just guessing um you know there's a lot of bullshit out there and all these just i don't know the the um the, the health and fitness game you know it can be a bit of a money suck you know especially with all the supplements and stuff like that um, you know, and you, you, you tend to sort of, 
you know, if, if you're going solo and you don't know enough about all of these bits and pieces, it's easy to be swayed and, um, you know, led down the garden path, you know, buying $100, hundreds of dollars worth of shit that you don't need. Stuff that you can just get from food. Yeah. You know, I mean, the amount of, um, yeah, the, 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 I mean, the, the supplements industry is, is just, a, it's an industry unto itself. And it's based on, you know, practically nothing. You know, if you can, if you can eat, you know, what you would be getting from your supplements, why wouldn't you? You know, if you get the results by, you know, doing a, you know, the, if you could, if you could lose weight by eating, you know, the foods that you love, why wouldn't you do it? Um, I think the idea of coaching, um, it just gives you that confidence to, you know, keep going um, rather than second guessing yourself every step of the way. So I hope that's succinct enough. I've rambled a little bit, but um, you know, that's my take on coaching. Because I've, look, I've done coaching with you know a variety of, of different people, not not always with weight training and stuff like that. But I find that it's um, it's a good way to sort of refocus and you know get back on track. Um, and over the long term, you know, you can really achieve some some serious goals. So definitely consider coaching if um, you know if you if you've been struggling uh, solo, or even if you know you, you haven't been struggling but you're not getting the results that you're looking for. Um, you know, find someone who can sort of have an analytical viewpoint and set you up over six or twelve months or twenty four months or whatever you know, and and you know smash those goals out of the park. You know, better to do it with someone you know than than sort of trying to figure it out all on your lonesome. Exactly. Because then there's the high likelihood, like if someone is on that solo path and confused and kind of trying to piece together pieces of the puzzle themselves, more often than not, it will result in probably about eight or nine guys out of 10 ended up, ended up just quitting the journey, writing themselves off as a lost cause. Um, and just like, yeah, complete self disbelief in terms of, well, yeah, then backing themselves to achieve the outcome. And um, yeah, there's a reason why you and I are where we are. It's because, well, we're doing the consistent work with the shit that matters. Um, you know, like yep. I've applied the same stuff we've covered to be able to get lean for competitions. You know, currently I'm prepping for a competition. Like, but then every single day of this journey, I've enjoyed. You know, I've been eating the shit that I like to eat. I've been eating at the times that I want to eat. You know, um, training when it's suitable for me. Um, it's just a means of like this game gives you preference to be able to, well, yeah, like just take control over the progression. Um, and have that control, which is typically lost with conventional methods. Hey, Angus, thanks so much. Honestly, you, you have changed my life. Um, you, you need to know that, that you have truly changed my life. Um, and I think to a, to a certain extent, the life of my kids, you know, they've been able to watch me go through this. I haven't once been asked if I'm dieting, if, you know, uh, you know, because it's not restrictive. I get to just be part of the, the family journey. You know, it's, it's, you know, I've been doing workouts and they know I've been doing that, but it's not been a case of, oh, I can't have that because I'm on a diet. You know, it's just, you know, I might choose different things. I might uh, leave things out of my meal, but I still fill my plate up and it's not like a, you know, what are you doing? Um, you know, and my kids are, are lean and fit anyway it's, but I want them to see that it's possible to maintain that through your life because it's a means of your actions speak far louder than your intentions you had great intentions yep. at the start you've backed that up with your actions um, yep. you, you, you've consistently sought advice to be able to get better at making those actions so you can flow with this whole system better and kudos to you bro because you know you're you're a dad you've got people that need you to step up and to own this and you've fulfilled that well and truly so it's not an easy yeah. thing to do, even with coaching. So it's like, well, I haven't got kids. You know what I mean? I'd like to think that when I do have them because of how well I've mastered this shit, being single and being in relationships and whatever, that I can still do it. But it's like, it's evident with just like, you've done it, bro. You're a dad. Keep it up. Keep enjoying the journey and you'll keep slaying for sure. So it's been yeah. awesome unpackaging your, you know, your journey, bro. Thanks so much for sharing. Obviously, if any of the viewers want to get in touch with you, I'll leave a link below so they can drop a line and just connect to see if this is legit. 
because hey, let's face it, it's the online game. We could be rambling on about shit that isn't even real. But hopefully, if the oh, viewers get this out, the trust there and that they're keen to get in touch. But once again, huge thanks to you, brother, and um, all the best with you moving forward solo. Thanks for coming on. Angus, thanks so much, man. It's been epic. I've loved every minute of it. Um, even, even when it's been hard, it's uh, it's it's good to you know have had uh, you there to sort of back me up and keep me on track and keep me in the ass when I needed it. Um, you know, and I'm looking forward to you know the next six months and and you know touching base after that and showing you what I've achieved. Oh yeah, brother. So, and there we go. Boom. How awesome was that? Some real awesome insight into the alpha male mastery journey of Damien Oates. Really hope you enjoyed learning all aspects as to what has been, in essence, change Damo's life and get a fresh perspective in terms of how coaching can be, I guess, the means to be able to help someone to be able to streamline and minimize the guesswork um, in terms of approaching their fat loss goals. Because as you would have heard me touch on, um, you know, the stats in terms of guys bailing on their journey is about 80%. So we're talking 8 out of 10 guys will bail on their journey because they just simply don't know what they're doing. We're going to pumping time, money, and energy into all sorts of shit that isn't in relation to their goals. And this is why they crash and burn and basically dig themselves into a suck hole that is really hard to escape from. So really hope you took some value from watching my interview with Damo. Really hope that was insightful and that it, at the very least has given you some awesome insight into how you can be basically removing the dad bod or losing fat in general with a flexible approach like this. But also from a means of if you've been searching for a coach and someone to potentially share the journey with you, hey, hopefully what this has done is built an awesome amount of trust and relatability from you watching this video. And if that's the case, feel free to click one of the links below and you can actually get in touch with me to find out more about, about what my coaching is all about. Obviously, I'm online, so it means that I can basically help guys who I deem that are a perfect fit to work with me all across Australia. So there's nothing that can get in the way of you being able to get the results that you want, provided you give a shit about your goals and you're open to help. I highly encourage you to get in touch with me for a chat and we can work out together if and how I can help you achieve your best body and be looking and feeling amazing just like myself and Damo and all the other guys that I've coached beforehand. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, if you have any questions or queries or anything like that, drop in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the Barbells and Burgers YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching. And be sure to, if you're keen to share in my own journey personally, in terms of what I go through with getting lean and running a business and stuff like that, would love to connect with you on social links below too. Have an amazing day. Catch you next time.